Bismillah, wa salatu wa salam ala Nabi Muhammad wa ala Ali wa sahbihi wa sallam. Continuing on in our study of the methodology of the Salaf. Allah, the Almighty, also mentioned with regards to the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'een lil fuqara al muhajirin al ladhina ukhriju min diyarihim wa amwalihim yabtaguna fadlim min Allahi wa ridwana wa yansurun Allah wa rasooluhu ulaika hum as sadiqoon. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and there is also a share in this booty, meaning the war booty, that the spoils of war, for the poor immigrants who were expelled from their homes and their property, seeking bounties from Allah, and to please Him, and helping Allah and His Messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, such are indeed the truthful. That is a, a sign of Iman. This was the Iman of the Sahaba, radiallahu ta'ala, and Jama'in. They sacrificed everything. And as a point of benefit, also, is look at those people who strive in this time, who are trying to follow the Sahaba to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and they try to make Hijrah. They make Hijrah to the Bilad al Tawheed, the Bilad al Muslimin. Why? They're trying to emulate the Sahaba. They're trying to go to a place where they're, it's more comfortable to practice their Islam and to be with the, the main body, the Jama'ah of the Muslimin. And with this, this shows us that this is a great, a great duty that is loved by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loved the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in who wanted to uh, strengthen the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in his da'wah and follow and practice what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala prescribed for them. This is a great ni'mah indeed. And so for those who follow that path, know that you're on a great path as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned in Surah Al-Baqarah in the ayat where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned about the fadl of the muhajirin, those who uh, who who strive to make hijrah, and Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says we have in Tareen, and perhaps one of my readers will correct me, where Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says, "Inna al-ladina tuwafahum al-malaika, huh? Inna al-ladina tuwafahum al-malaika, zalimi anfusihim. Qalu fi ma qalu qalu, huh?" So, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned that those people, that there's like a monakasha, that verily those who the malaika take their souls. Those whose souls are taken, who oppress themselves because they didn't make hijrah, because they stayed with the people of, uh, uh, of disbelief and in a, pla in a place where disbelief is and in sin in Ma'asi. And at the end of the ayat, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions that He is pleased and that the, the, those people who are weak and oppressed from the men and the women and the children who are unable to make the hijrah, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala pardons them. They're excused. But those people who had no excuse, they weren't doing da'wah, they weren't doing any khayr, they just wanted comfort in the life of this world then they were indeed at a loss. And may Allah protect us and preserve us and protect us from being at a loss. Then the Shaykh mentioned, he said, this verse is referring to those who migrated from Mecca. Then Allah stated concerning those who were present in Medina and those who before them had homes in Medina and had adopted the faith, love those who immigrate to them and have no jealousy in their breasts for that which they have been given and give them immigrants preference over themselves, even though they were in need of that. And whosoever is saved from his own covetousness, such are they who will be the successful. So again, this is another praise of the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'een and the sacrifice they made for this deen and for one another, the brothers and sisters in Islam. Radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'een. And then the Shaykh mentioned, and then Allah mentioned concerning those who came after them. وَالَّذِينَ جَاءُوا مِنْ بَعْدِهِمْ يَقُولُونَ رَبَّنَا اغْفِرْ لَنَا وَلِإِخْوَانِنَا الَّذِينَ سَبَقُونَا بِالْإِيمَانِ وَلَا تَجْعَلْ فِي قُلُوبِنَا وَلَا تَجْعَلْ فِي قُلُوبِنَا غِلًّا لِلَّذِينَ آمَنُوا رَبَّنَا إِنَّكَ رَؤُوفُ الرَّحِيمُ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, And those who came after them say, Our Lord forgive us, and our brethren who have preceded us in faith, and put not in our hearts any hatred against those who have believed, our Lord, you are indeed full of kindness, most merciful. So love the believers. This is a sign of the Sahaba, a sign of Ahli Iman, and a sign of those people who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves. 
The Sheikh said, next are those who came after and sought knowledge from them from the following generation, and then those who followed them from the generations, which the Prophet Sallallahu said to them, Khairakum Qarni, Thumma Ladhini Yulunuhum, Thumma Ladhini Yulunuhum. So, here the Sheikh is describing who the Salaf is. He said, Though next are those who came after them, meaning after the Sahaba, radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in, who sought knowledge from who? From the Sahaba. Those are the Tabi'een, not just anyone who lived in the time of the Tabi'een who met a Sahaba, could have been met, met a Sahabi on Kufr, could have met anything. No, these are the people of Iman, and these are the people who sought knowledge from the Sahaba. That's what we mean by the Salaf al -Salih. It doesn't mean everyone who lived in that time. It doesn't mean every Muslim that lived in that time. But it's those who took their knowledge from the Sahaba, radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in. They are the Tabi'een. Then after them, who? The Itba'a Tabi'een, those, their students who took the knowledge. And to uh, verify for this is the hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu The best of you is my generation, then those who follow them, then those who follow them. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The narrator said, I do not know if he mentioned two generations after his, after his generation or three. This is the narrator of the hadith. There, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, his companions in the following two generations, distinguished time is called the time of the best generation. That's the best generation for us in Islam. We look back to the Salaf of this Ummah. These are the Salaf of this nation, which the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, خَيْرَكُمْ قَرْنِي ثُمَّ الَّذِينَ يَلُونُهُمْ ثُمَّ الَّذِينَ يَلُونُهُمْ And that's the same hadith we just mentioned. Those are the best of our generation. Uh, therefore, they are an example for this nation, and their methodology is what this nation should adhere to in terms of belief, dealings, character, and all affairs. Their methodology is taken from the Book of Allah and the Sunnah because they were close to the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the time of revelation. They took directly from the Messenger and thus they are the best of generations and their methodology is the best methodology. It is for this reason that the Muslims are diligent in learning their methodology so that they can adhere to it and because it is not possible to tread their path except after having knowledge, knowing the path itself, learning it and acting upon it. So it's not sufficient for us to say on our tongues, I'm Salafi. He's Salafi. She's Salafi. They're off the minhaj. They're on the minhaj. La. Hadha la yakfina. That's not sufficient for us. And that's why the ulama, they say, is a qa'id al They say what? They say, al-ibra bi haqaiq laysa bi musammiyat. That the proof of something is in its reality. It's in its substance. Not in its musammiyat. Not in what the people call it. So someone may call him Salafi, or call her Salafi, or call themselves Salafi, but they may not really be Salafi in their methodology. They may not be traversing the path of the Prophet Muhammad Wasallam. They may not be tra tra traversing the path of the Salaf of this Ummah, the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'een. They may not be trying to refer back to them in their fiqh, in their aqidah, in their, in their mu'amalat, in their deeds, and how they treat people, and how they love the Muslims in general. But instead they could have extremism. Instead they could be too... To uh, throwing away the principle of Islam. But instead, may Allah bless us with tawfiq to follow the minhaj of the salaf.